Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at QR codes. We're not going to feature necessarily specific site. We're just going to look at QR codes, what they are and how they could be used with your students. So QR codes have been around for a while now. What they are in essence, if you're not familiar with them, are uh, they are coded, little coded in images that allow you to link to specific things online. So that could be uh, to provide contact details, it could be to link to specific social media accounts, it could be a Wi-Fi login, it could be um, to do a variety of different things. But in essence, it's taking you to an online location. Now, why would you use it? Well, you'd use it as a way of ensuring that the user can get to that location without any delay. It gets around the problems of students typing in the wrong URL by mistake. Uh, I could see it being really useful as a way of getting the learners to access a Padlet wall maybe, or as a, an exit ticket activity, you could use the QR code to connect them with a Google Form survey. It can also be a quick way of getting the learners to join the college Wi-Fi. One of the challenges we have occasionally is the students um, can't get the Wi-Fi logon screen up at the college. So by creating a poster such as this, which I did in picture chart, they can scan the code having joined the Wi-Fi, the right Wi-Fi, and it will bring up the logon screen for them. So it speeds up that process of students joining the Wi-Fi in their classroom. So QR codes really easy to create. There are a number of sites out there which you can use. Um, I have two that I use, this one and QR stuff. And you choose what it is you're doing. You then paste in your URL and it generates a code for you. So let's grab my URL for my blog. We'll paste that in there. And you'll see the longer the URL, the smaller and finer the QR code detail. Other things you may wish to consider is the color of your QR code. I think it's worth having a color code for your students to be aware of. So if you're linking to stuff which is gonna use quite a bit of data, maybe video streaming, then have it a one particular color. If it's just documents or stuff that is, is gonna be okay for them to access on data without joining a Wi-Fi, then have a different color so that they're aware of what it is that they're connecting to. And then we come to the two different types of QR code. We've got a static QR code, which points to a permanent location, or we've got a dynamic QR code, which enables you to redirect that QR code to point to different topics. Um, that could be really useful if you're creating a handout which you want to laminate because you could just keep redirecting the QR codes without having to reprint out your handout. Now a way I found quite useful for creating um, QR codes and for creating ones which are less complex is by using a URL short. Now there's lots out there um, and I tend when I'm using a QR code to use a shortened URL alongside it. So if people do want to connect, maybe they're on a laptop, they don't have access to a, a, a camera to, to enable to scan the QR code, they can also access the resource that way. So this is Google's one, but there are others out there. You paste in the long URL, you click shorten, and it gives you the short URL, which you can then copy and use. So I would tend to copy that. I would then go back to my QR code and you'll see it's a much simpler QR code to scan so probably more likely that it's going to be easily scanned by the student and they've also got the URL which is relatively simple in comparison to the previous one that's there. So there you have it, three different tools that you may find useful. The URL shortener does a couple of other things for you so it allows you to see how many people have scanned but it also allows you to create a QR code as well. And all you do is you just click QR code and there it is, and you can access it. So the final thing is how else could you use it in the classroom? Well, one way we're always looking, most students now have a mobile device and we're looking at how we can get them to use that in a constructive way. Uh, and one way that I heard about was this idea of creating a placemat. You give each student a placemat, which they have in front of them on the desk. Quite clearly, they place the phone at the top and then there are three redirectional QR codes at the bottom. And then they scan the code, it takes them to the specific activity and away you go. So it's a nice quick way of getting them to the location online that you need them to be.
So I hope you found that useful. A quick look at QR codes. When it comes to reading QR codes, there are lots of free QR code readers out there, and it's about finding the, the most uh, one that you're most happy with uh, on, on whichever type of device, whether that be Android or Apple. So I hope you found that useful. A slightly different video this week. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel.